To add game characters, you will first need some graphics to add to your game. The next step in this tutorial will require you to select two character graphics and one background graphic. I will tell you how to get the same graphics that I'm using, or you could select your own graphic. It's more fun to select your own graphics and create your own storyline. I'll tell you the types of graphics that you need, and then you can go on the internet and search for the specific graphics for your storyline. In addition to the two game characters and background scene, you also need an action button and two additional background scenes. In the future, you also need background music. In the next set of videos, you're going to arrange the graphics into an exciting game with interactivity. One strategy is simply to use Google Image Search. This is great if you do not plan to distribute your app. You can search through backgrounds as well as characters. I got the background images from lookandlearn.com. The button icons are from gameart2d.com in the Sweet Candy freebie set. This is a site I'm using in the current tutorial series for Flutter and Flame that I am working on right now. I recommend that you go to karamari.jp and select two characters that match your storyline. The characters have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio for the graphic, which will make it easier to insert into the tutorial. This package here is free, Kieran Free Visual Novel Sprite, and it does have uh, some emotions of the character. Once you download and ex extract the archive, you can see that the boy's face does change, although, and then a little bit of the posturing also does change. Once you start using the sprite animation component, you're going to need to get a sprite sheet so that you can get the individual frames of the character that are moving like at a different space. So GameArt2D and OpenGameArt.org would be good places to get those. My current plan is to finish the visual novel uh, tutorial series first since the flame has been updated now to 1.0 and then swing back to the sprite animation components where you have the animated 2D characters. There are now nine videos in the 2022 Flame Tutorial Series, as well as 26 videos in the 2021 series. Subscribe to the channel for future updates. These videos are on Teachable as a free course. There is no upsell as this is purely a hobby for me. I'm using Teachable only for the progress so you can see how far you have progressed through the course. It also makes it easier for me to organize the videos and the sequence of information that I'm presenting. In whatever way you choose to learn, the most important thing is to keep on trying to learn and have fun while doing it. Have a great day.